Preparing for a new school year always offers a fresh start. That is especially true this fall in the Inokanapin School District. Dozens of construction projects are wrapping up as teachers and staff get ready to welcome students back. CTN's Jennifer Anderson takes us to Coon Rapids Middle School, where a major renovation will make room for a growing student body. At Coon Rapids Middle School, Lizzie Higgins is moving into a classroom that didn't exist last year. It's starting to feel the heat a little bit. A complete renovation of the school's lower level will help accommodate about 450 more students than last year. With all these changes especially, we're nervous like to meet the new kids, like what are they going to think when they come into the room? Is they, are they going to feel welcome in the space? This was a cafeteria. Principal Tom Shaw says major changes happened over the summer after the district approved new school boundaries. For the first time, all students destined for Coon Rapids High School will come here under one roof for middle school. And so when they come to school, they get to go to school with that people they go to church with and the people that they're in the same sports with and really just people they see in the community every day and they'll end up all in the same high school and uh, be part of that community. So it's really exciting. They've had to get creative with how to best use the space they have. We've created flexible learning spaces. With 42 more teachers hired on, staff will be sharing rooms and utilizing lockers of their own. So on all three of our floors we created spaces like this for teachers to sit down together and to really dig into their curriculum and, and collaborate and support each other. In addition to six new classrooms, there are new fitness and music spaces, gender neutral bathrooms, and a special ed department that is also growing significantly. Construction cleanup will likely go right down to the wire as teachers settle in to new spaces. And that's challenging for teachers. Teachers are having to work around a lot of sheetrock dust, a lot of uh, hanging ceiling tiles and things like that, but we'll be ready for the first day of school. We're one team, that's who we are, and together we're gonna make it work and we're gonna welcome everybody to our team. For CTN Update, I'm Jennifer Anderson. More work at Coon Rapids Middle School is planned for next spring and will include improvements to the media center and front offices.